I'm working with John's microphone now. <clears throat> I'm taking this video with my cell phone. The same equipment I use out at the field. Just to see if it's going to work. So if it doesn't, I'll have to end the screen. But we're going to lay up for the ribs now. So I want to check this and then I'll get right to it. There we go, it's live. Why is it squealing? Hang on. Let's see, what, what is the problem? Okay. Yeah, I know. It keeps wanting to tell me that I'm... I think it's because it's up so high. No, that's on zero. And this one, this one, channel five, good. Yep, boost is down. Let's see if that helps. It works. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Sorry about that. I had the uh, I had the volume turned up on the uh, on the television. It was feeding back through. So give me a, a thing in chat if you think uh, if you think this microphone sounds okay. Because this is like I say, this is John's setup out at the field I have a thing coming that's a mixer and uh, let's see yeah I have a thing coming that's a mixer that we can run two mics through this thing that other thing I, I know I know I wish I could stop that passenger. That's, uh... Okay, great. So this is what John should sound like now uh, when we're out at the field. So, this is, uh, like I say, this is my cell phone I'm using here, so bear with me. We'll try to... We'll try to do this stream with this uh, with this thing. Let me point it down here. Yeah, man, everything's such a hassle. <laughs> Let me look over here. Got to move the table to get around it. Yeah, you can see the uh, bench. Okay. Transmitter on the belt. You know, all this stuff is way over my head. Anyway, I got this uh, untaped, unglued. It's ready to go. It's a little... Uh, a little stout, but
It is what it is. Let me, uh, let me do this. I already selected the wood for the wing. I did have uh, five pound wood to build this with. Don't have any four pound wood, but I do have five pound wood, so we'll be all right. I just have to use less of it. So these have all been sanded flush now. The notches for the ribs are in the uh, spar. Not very big though, because I sanded some of that off. Whatever, it'll work. We'll make it work. So now I have to plot the ribs. I can say this is the most complicated wing I ever ever put together. I have never had to uh, never taken me this. If it was a standard wing, I'd have the damn thing done by now. So I'm going to give myself a little room here to work. Now I have some uh, metric. 16th, but I think it's too thin. I don't I don't want to I don't want it to crush. So I'm just going to go ahead and use 332nd and we'll take more out of the inside is all. You know what the wood situation the way it is. This may be well I do have some wood coming. Some contest wood, four to six pounds, but this may be getting close to the last airplane that I'll be able to put together because I'm not going to waste all that time to build a wall hanger. Let me check the battery pack on this. Uh, we got good batteries. Good. All right. It's one thing I don't really care for about the new world. All these damn batteries. You got to batteries for everything. So what was the weight on this? That was the spar anyway for the other side. So we need to. This is the spar for the other side. You know, I had all those ribs drawn out, and on that light wood, just too flimsy. I, I, I just can't, I can't bring myself to use it. <laughs> Bummer, I got no place to work. But a lot of nice airplanes have come out of this little apartment. You don't need big a big shop to do a good job. You need a little uh, know-how, determination, and And intestinal fortitude. Let's see, you want to put these on the magnet in case I need them again. I've emptied the trash, so that's good. I'm going to save these pieces because I'm going to need them for the other side. Okay.
I won't get the molded uh, leading edge done today. I'll, uh, I can't even glue these ribs on until the molded leading edge is done. But I want to get the ribs cut. And plotted so that when I do get the mold leading edge done this thing will go together and <clears throat> Bob Hunt says it best about what a lost form wing is it's like walk building and what he means by that is uh, What he means by that is uh, the time is making all the components. And then when you put it in the pot, it just, it just comes out ready to go. Now you guys should have good audio even though I'm not even close to the camera. I'm in kind of in the kitchen area washing my hands that don't come clean because I work with a really dirty stuff. But at least it'll give me an idea when I go back and watch this is, is the uh, is this going to work out at the field. The splitter that I got is a sermonic splinter. It'll go underneath the uh, camera here and drive the camera so that <clears throat> two mics can be hooked up to it instead of just one because the cell phone only allows one phone or one microphone to be input. So it is 6.30. We will stay on Metric wood is 3,000 smaller than 16th. So it's uh, 51 or 62.50. It's 59.50. <coughs> it seems to me like it's uh, 30 seconds. See, we're going to need that, we're going to need that, we're going to not need this, but we'll need this. This is the inboard top. So this is the inboard bottom. If you if you notice here, you know what I need to get on the uh, get on the uh, Creator Studio YouTube Studio. That way, it's in real time. It's not lagging so far behind uh, content live. I want to go to the studio options. View on YouTube, no. I want to go. I want to go to the studio. I don't. I don't see how to get to the studio. Oh well. More. More nonsense. Okay, go back this way, public, it's on. I've never done this before where I stream with my phone and have the control panel in here and I don't see the live control panel, which I need. They've, they've changed everything about YouTube. Analytics, details. I should be able to get to the control room here and there's no way. Okay, so we'll just... Uh
forego that and go back here we'll go here hopefully the mic's off yep okay still off I now I got the live chat up I can see what you guys type or whatever I have no control but I can see what you guys type so here's the wood that I've selected for the sheeting this is 332nd or metric sheeting I, I don't know what it is pretty close to 332nd it is it is five pound wood this should be enough to uh, to do the sheeting on the leading edge so we'll take four pieces out for that I think it's four. We'll get four pieces out for the leading edge that we're not going to make tonight. It may be five pieces, I don't know. If you guys don't have a dressmaker's tape, get yourself a dressmaker's tape. You got to have that. Yeah, it's five inches. Four and a half, so it's nine. Nine inches, four and a half. So I can do it with two pieces per side. And you say, well, how can you turn eight into into nine? Well, you'll see. No big deal. So let's, this is the inboard side. We're going to choose our light, lightest wood, which uh, these are five pound. Here's a 16 and two 17s. So we're going to take the two 17s. And this is the inboard, inboard sheeting. This 16 here. We'll cut it into an inch and uh, a one inch wide piece to see if it'll relieve. So I need uh, four pieces out of this for trailing edges. Actually, we'll make them seven eighths. That way I know I got enough. And these are the outboard pieces. That's a 17. That's one eighteen. So these pieces here are the outboard outboard uh, and these pieces here are the ribs so I'll take two four five six seven eight sheets of wood to build this wing So let's get let's get the uh, let's get this cut for trading edges. Now I normally make these three quarters, but we're going to make these seven eighths because I'm going to leave an overhang of anywhere between three thirty second and a sixteenth and three thirty second hanging over the trailing edge, so that I don't have to sand that pocket and that my flaps are going to be pocketed into into the trailing edge so of course well, this is the bottom so that's okay we can sand that off make sure this is going to work yeah we'll make it work i guess we can We'll go right here. Now this is going to be, because I changed the wing in this, it's going to be way more scale than Bill's airplane. His high aspect ratio wing 
made his airplane look like a cartoon scale. I mean, it's a beautiful airplane, don't get me wrong, but it's cartoon scale. This is going to be closer to scale because it's a wider root and shorter span. So we're going to bend it. We're going to come way like that. We're going to have a lot of area on this dog. Hmm. I want to somehow, maybe I'll go right there. Because I want the flaps to end right here. We're going to have a stationary piece here. And you say, well, what am I looking at all this stuff for right now? Well, if you don't think ahead, when you get to, when you get to this point, you go, well, shit, I can't do that. Because I have to have, I have to have a hinge block here, a hinge block here, and a hinge block here. And I've got to think about how am I going to cut that, and that's still not far enough in. So let's go, no, that'll work. better right there. So we need a hinge block, I guess. Hinge block, hinge block. It's a better market, so I know where to go. Block, in block. And in block. HB. 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 So this is nothing new for me to do things like this. If, if I build a kit, I bash it. And I'm building somebody else's airplane, I'm gonna bash it because I, I built five of these to the numbers and I didn't care for it. And I did pretty well with my Thunderbolt number three, but I didn't really care for it. I mean, the way it flew. It flew like a, like a lumber wagon. So, we can't have that. So what happened to the pen? I just had the pen in my hand. There it is. So the first thing you want to do is make sure this is straight. Not really. I think this is going to relieve, but we'll see. Okay, where's my charge stick? I want to thank the guy, I don't know who it was, who told me to put sandpaper on the back of this yardstick because that really works good. I had a scrap piece. Okay, you know what? Except that's, that's more wood. I might just cut it the width of that yardstick. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it the width of this yardstick and we'll... We'll use the... Uh, how, what is the width of this? No, I can't do that. That's just too much. 
too much. Got to stay true to my principles. I know that the uh, title of this was ribs, but uh, I'm trying to get all the wood, the parts, in order. I, you know, I'm just building a kit for myself here, basically. And this, this airplane is designed on the fly. So I have to... I have to think of what's going on. Okay. So there we go. There we got... Uh, on that. Hopefully it didn't, it didn't bend. Whoa. Hey, stay straight. What do you know? We're in there. Work good. And we got an idea how long this is going to take me to get together? Let's hear your guess. How long do you think it'll take me to build? one hour a day or I mean I, I work harder than that on the weekends but because I don't have anything to do but during the week my schedule is Monday I take off because Charles takes takes over on that Friday I take off because Charles has uh, got programming for you and uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday, I try to do an hour a day, and then on the weekends, I do as many videos or as much building or whatever as I think I can handle. Is that all right with you guys? We got nine watching now. For you watchers that are coming in and going out, I'd rather... I'd rather, instead of you watching me live, if you're going to just come in for a minute and then leave, I'd rather you wait till it was over and then skip skip ahead to the parts you don't like because that would be better for my metrics. And this whole deal is all about the metrics. So we got, uh, we're only going to get three out of this because I made them an inch. And I don't think I get, no, I don't have two inches here. Oh, I do. No, I don't. So we're going to have a, some scrap left over. 100% yes, you enjoy watching. Hey guys, like, subscribe, and share, and please consider becoming a member. That's next to the subscribe button down there. It's $4.95 a month. Price of a cup of coffee at Starbucks. It helps support the channel. Makes me uh, a valid source. The super chats that you guys give, they really help when I'm screaming with my uh, bandwidth. 
here I'm streaming at home, obviously, so I don't need bandwidth, but uh, and what what comes across the super chats for Charles? Believe it or not, I give I give Charles uh, when I got extra, I send him some some hobby money, just like I did with Rusty. We're not getting rich at this, I can tell you that right now. Okay. Well, Michael, you got to be logged in. You got to log in before you can see that link. So we're going to have to get another, another, uh, another piece out of there. These are all nice and uh, uniform. I took my time cutting them. They're, I mean, they're right on the money. So let's get one more piece and get it cut. 17 down there. Let's see here. We don't care. This is a 20. We don't want any 20s. We can do an 18 or a 19. Let's see. This is white wood. 21, 21. I wonder how come all this pretty wood is heavy. Normally, the wider the wood, the lighter it is. 22, 19, there we go. There's one that'll work for training. We gotta, we'll gotta. we put a couple 19s up, three 19s so I don't have to take four, four, five. We got five 19s. That's still at the five pound range, but it's 5.2 or whatever. I'd rather have them. When I built my Viper. Oh, Michael, you got to expand. There's a little on the. When you go to the at the bench, you'll see at the bench. You got to hit the plus sign. It'll drop down all the threads. Or, you know, you got to expand the section. So these are 19. Let's check out the best piece of that. That's nice straight grain there. So we'll just use this piece right here. Okay, this piece here is going to be a shim for this. Gotta expand. Expand the uh, the unit. Um, now I can't even I can't even do that because it has to be sheeted just to. I hear the blue angels flying right now. We have a uh, air show going on here. And you ask, how do I know that's the Blue Angels? Because I know fighter jets when I hear them. This is going to be difficult. I got to sheet that before, before I do anything. So I'm not even going to get to cut, make ribs. I'm going to have to make skins. We'll make skins up, I guess. And the reason being is it, it, this is not 
it's not holding it true. And like I told you, I want this, I want this airplane to be perfect. I, I'm going to put this much time and this much money into the damn thing. I want it perfect. That's cool. What's cool? Did I tell you guys about the pilot? I'm going to get a pilot carved out of wood that looks just like this. Only it's going to be super light. This is a good looking pilot. Man, he is cool. The only thing that I would do to them is take some epoxy and drip drip it into the goggles there so they got a little shine on them. But heck, he doesn't need any painting or anything, but Tommy Looper is going to carve me one out of balsa wood. It'll look just like that. The man is an artist. He says to me, he says, well, you can do it. No, I can't. Ain't no way. If you're watching, you should be out painting or sanding or doing something. And Jim Lynch, if you're watching, hello! And Joanne, those are my favorite people from flying. I hope Jim gets as well. When I talked to Tommy Looper today, he said that he talked to Charlie Reeves, and Charlie Reeves is doing better. You know, we're talking about guys in their 80s. <laughs> they don't look 80 to me, <laughs> but... But that's just, a, you know, I don't know. Even my friend Gary Hajak is in his 80s. Everybody's 80. Everybody's, everybody's in his 80s. If, um... Uh, if you're under 65 and you're watching this channel, Consider yourself very young. <laughs> if I look at the metrics, my average average uh, watcher is now. This is the average is sixty five. Take a little thing on there. Is this video made for kids? Well, no, kids, kids would not watch this at all. This is way boring to uh, kids. Well, Brunel Collection, I did add you as a featured channel. Damn, that looks like I missed. Yeah. 
that I missed by a 64th of an inch. Hell with it. Close enough, I'll sand it straight. Okay, so we'll put this stick right here with the flaps. We can use that stick for something. So I need a shim on the nose of this to simulate sheeting. Let me take one of these 22 gram pieces which is right here. We'll cut some sundry at 20. That's close enough to close enough to uh, big weight. So. so let's strip it with this because we don't care how accurate it is because it's going to get thrown out. We'll strip two pieces and use these as shims. Now I haven't, haven't been able to check because I don't have the studio up. Is the audio better with the lav mic or with the boom mic? What the way I normally do it? Because if you like this audio, this is what's going to be at the field. I won't get to know until I turn this off. Like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you ring that bell for notifications. Let's see. Yeah. We've been on almost an hour already, again. You think the boom mic is better? Okay, well, yeah, I figured as much. That's running through a pro mixing board, and that's a... That's a, a road boom mic, so... These are road lab mics, but... Uh, I'll be able to do some gain on it when I get that box. That splitter box. Okay, let's see how this works out. See if it levels up. So, that one's got to go there. And this one's got to go here. And this one here. Oh, I know why. It ain't never going to be right. It's going uphill. Sounded really good except for when I was in the kitchen. What did the kitchen sound like? These are supposed to work up to 300 feet. Oh, okay. Low volume. Let's try this then. This ought to blow you out.
How about now? Is it low volume? And if that if that don't work, I can go up one more notch. Plus 20 dB. So get back to me and let me know. I had it set on zero. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, so. Okay, I need to make a little uh, square. Yeah, there's, there's some 19s right there too. And I still got some good stuff. So let's make a square out of this. Sound is good right now. Let me walk back over in the kitchen and you tell me if the sound is, is okay. Now I should, you should be able to hear me with no change. And if not, I gotta zap it up some more, but let me know. Cause I want this to work out at the field. Okay, so it's up 10 on that. No problem. Okay. Now, slightly lower. Shouldn't be slightly lower. Because there's no microphone running over here. It's all wireless. Does everybody remember what I taught them about three, four, five? You know what I need to do? I need to make it to the to the jig here. That's the problem. We need to be perpendicular to the jig, not to the not square. Okay, so. That's a big difference. Why don't this, what the hell's wrong with the square? Hmm. <laughs> I don't have my Mechanical, oh, I do have a mechanical drawing square. Yay, I thought, I thought I did, but I do. It's behind all these propellers here. All these carbon props, wheels, stuff. Okay. I kept thinking, I was trying to make this square to the to the jig it's got to be square to the bench because when we hot wired it it was square to the bench not to the jig That's a pretty important thing to remember. Otherwise, you'd be building it crooked. Kept looking at what the heck's going on. That can't be right.
Oh. Well, I guess I could, uh, I got this up on my collar. I guess I could put it down here. Is that better? I had it way up here on my right side, so if I turned my head to the left, I wouldn't be talking into it. Hey, did you guys learn something there? But <coughs> excuse me, it has to be square to the bench, not to the to the cradle. But I did turn it up 10 dB. We marked this as the 90, but it's not 90. So with any luck, this should fit right on there. Ta-da, perfect. You see that? It's perfect. I don't know what I was thinking, why I would think that it would be square to the cradle and not to the bench. But I caught myself. When I, uh, when I get this driver that goes underneath the camera, and you can't see it, but it, it goes underneath the phone, it's a little box. I gave up my cheap eight. I gave up my cheap eighteen dollar Chinese. I got one of them. <laughs> I got a real GoPro too. I got a Nikon. I got a Nikon camera D seventy two hundred. I got a Canon movie camera. It's a X X A forty five. And we end up taking movies with the cell phone. The reason being is I don't want to edit. The editing is what, I mean, if you think <laughs> this takes, editing takes a lot of time. All right, so I got this squared away. We could, uh, we could feasibly make a rib or two tonight just to get the feel for it. So, the rib business is down here. You know what, we've probably been on more than an hour. I think, uh, I think that, uh, let's see, six minutes we'll be on for another hour. I think I'm gonna clean all this crap up, eat dinner, watch some TV, let my airplane go until tomorrow. Unless I sit back and watch TV on Monday, but uh, I got quite a bit accomplished on this this weekend. We got one leading edge done. I got some pieces cut. Most importantly, I got the uh, the foam leading edge is done. Oh yeah, my favorite job. So this tinkering, like, I, like I've been saying, is uh, this is gonna be a complicated build because I have to plot each rib station. That's why I needed this special square this is probably, 
90, probably 80 degrees instead of 90. And that, uh, that fits perfect. Man, what was I thinking? But I need to make skins. I'll probably do the skins tomorrow off camera because you guys have seen me make skins before. It's real simple. You just measure it and then I put them in the bathtub and I'll put them on that mold buck and wrap them up. And then uh, Tuesday night we'll glue the skin on there. Yeah, Tuesday night I'll glue the skin on there. I might make two skins while I'm at it tomorrow. I think that's probably the uh, the thing to do off camera is make make the two skins for these. And uh, I still have to work on the the outboard side. Uh, of this, this is the inboard wing because you we're building it upside down. I got to turn it over. And uh, so this is the underside. And the other wing will build the other way and then flip them over and made them together. The biggest part of all this business is you better keep track of where you're at. Because cause you can get lost pretty easy. And uh, and build things kind of crazy. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, share. I'm doing the best I can. I hope this is working out. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday.